<laughs> Robin. Hey, uh, I, oh. I want to just jump in here because we got Lee Abrams on the okay. phone. I, I don't call him stupid Lee Abrams when he's actually on the phone. Lee. Hey. <laughs> What's hey. up, Lee? Oh, not too much. Everything's under control. Uh, we asked you oh. yesterday. You don't know anything about Dave Rabbit, first of all? Oh, yeah, you know, I got that uh, yeah, note. I just know that he was one of these guys at this, like, underground radio station in Vietnam and was saying, you know, the war is bad and beaming it at all the, the soldiers and uh, uh, was kind of doing, you know, military underground radio and uh, kind of a legendary thing. And the only thing I know is uh, I heard he's, like, living in Hawaii as a, a building contractor or something. But kind of this, uh, this thing that, uh, you know, you hear about and, heard about him and read about it over the years but really didn't know too much about it other than uh having the ball shoot underground radio station in uh vietnam in yeah. 1969 or whatever 71 yeah 71 and uh he called today from dallas and he's uh he's starting to do radio again i'm thinking we should uh try to figure something out with xm oh absolutely yeah definitely we'll get Saturday a Saturday night virus from him. yeah yeah tomorrow <laughs> Put him on the show. Tomorrow at 10.15, we're going to play the uh, entire cassette I found in one of my boxes at home. Uh, oh. you know, uninterrupted. We're just going to let it roll with the music and everything. Bad that's quality. A, that's a must listen. <laughs> I, well, I, I think it is, right? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Like time you know capsule. Yeah. And just, uh, I'm sure he wasn't following some format and hot clock, so it's probably pretty inventive. <laughs> right, you're right. He uh, was. He was actually genuinely funny. Yeah, he was just talking about whores and blowjobs and and hard ons and talking drugs. over the fucking lyrics. Oh yeah, just talking through the entire song. He didn't give a shit. Yeah, he was great. So I'm not giving a shit. That's great. That's. <laughs> I wish there was more of that today. He he what? means that, Mike. No, he really. <laughs> does. Yeah, he's sick of regular radio. Sick of oh, it. Oh God. Yeah. It's it's unbelievable. Right. It's it's like God, there's this F C C mandated law to be uh, lame. Yeah. 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 God. Hey what oh, do you Hey hey Lee. Yeah. What 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 do you think happened with those uh, two pilots over there that fell asleep? Oh, he asked him a flying question. I like uh, how that Leaf is a pilot. Mike, here's your nap pillow. Wait, which pilot which pilot <laughs> was the travel pillow? Oh, you didn't hear that in the news? Yeah. Is this the uh the uh, military guys over the Gulf? No, no, this is uh uh <laughs> Passenger jet in Hawaii. Uh, I believe it kind of looked like a, an MD-80 or something. And um, two pilots asleep in the cockpit for 30 minutes. <laughs> you know, that's happened before. I mean, there's really no excuse for that. That's really bad. When, uh, <laughs> well, yes. There was one guy who was flying for uh, TWA from New York to L.A., and this was a plane that had three pilots. And they overflew L.A. by like 300 miles because they all fell asleep with the red eye. Like, <laughs> wow. Wow. We were saying that's got to be frightening when you wake up. And you know when you wake up in a hotel and you're like, where am I? Am I home? Did I and just you wake work up today? And just look, yeah. at, look, look at the gauges and you're just like... Uh, are we yeah. out of gas? <laughs> oh. How far off course are we? Can, Can we make? Can you imagine the panic? I mean, yeah, actually, you just you know, sometimes <laughs> have dreams like that. You know, you, you wake up and like, oh my God, where? You know, Jesus. Yeah, that. But if for a commercial plane, that, that's really bad. I mean, uh, that's yeah, because that's six hundred miles extra because you got to come back. Yeah, sure. Well, well, the worst oh. part is explaining yourself to the passengers, to the company, that they're like, well, yeah. fell asleep. Well, you know, sorry. Well, passengers, you can lie to. Got a little uh, tired, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, yeah, passengers, you asleep. could lie to. Yeah, just a weather diversion, air traffic control problem. Uh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, with these two, uh, I guess the flight was barely an hour, and they slept for half of it. <laughs> yeah. Or over half of it. Yeah, they had to turn <laughs> around. I think it was like a 40... Uh, someone called and said it was only a 15-minute flight between the islands uh, over there in Hawaii, so... Hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's a real problem. <laughs> hey. Lee, uh, we're really calling you because of <laughs> stupid yes once again. Ah, bring on the yes question. You okay. love yes. Uh, why do you love yes so much? Well, just to bring um, everyone on board, I think you had some kind of like personal connection with the band back in the day, right? Yeah, well, yeah, I did, but that was because of my my love for him. Now, I want to preface this by saying. I thought the first two albums were interesting, but the uh, the Yes album, Fragile, Close to the Edge, brilliant. That's what I loved. And then they kind of slid and lost track. And <laughs> toward the end, I can't stand any of the last 10 or 12 records. They, they just blow. So wait, you like Ten, two out of 14 <laughs> records or two out of 16? <laughs> yeah, I mean, they made such an impact on me, uh, oh. you know, personally with those three records that, uh, you know, it's uh, I've just... 
uh, been been a fan because of those. And when they go on tour, they're they're smart enough to play songs from those three albums primarily, which are like whoa. Me? That, it was just, uh, I mean, they were just electric. A lot of people who have this, like, 80s owner of Lonely Heart or this pop rock uh, perception uh, of Yes, yeah, if them. they listen mm-hmm. to, like, the Yes album, I mean, it was just pure power, of telepathic playing. It was, like, cinematic. It was just incredible. And, uh, Do you understand that what you're saying is, like, I'm a big MASH fan. It's my favorite show, but everything after season two sucks. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm kind of, I am saying that, yeah. Um, however... That season one was so impactful, so great that uh, I forgive him for the rest of the stuff. And it's just a classic, you know. I'm sure we don't have time now, but just a, a, you know, it's almost like Spinal Tappy. The way the the uh, the band couldn't manage themselves, and they were all going in different directions. But for that short period of time, in you know the early '70s, they had like this Lennon McCartney kind of kind of magic going as far as. Uh, you know, working together and uh, it all gelling into this amazing sound. Roundabout, is that one of your favorite songs? Well, no, I'm kind of just, uh, you know, that's reached the enough already stage. Okay. Uh, What's your favorite Yes song of all time? Starship Trooper uh, Starship on the Yes Trooper. album. It's, uh, <laughs> I mean, really, I would encourage every listener to, you know, get it or find it and just listen to it. And, oh, that or Yours is No Disgrace, also on the yours same record. Yours is No yeah. Disgrace! No, that yeah, one. Nice. Listen, you know, it's really powerful, just uh, the playing, the, the precision, the, the production. It's just, uh, they still tour? I think it sounds yes. as good now as yeah. it did then. Yeah, I think so. They yeah. still tour. John Anderson uh, was doing some acoustic stuff out there at the CES in Vegas for everybody. That's right, yeah. They're, and they're, it's actually their 40th anniversary this summer, so they'll be... Uh, They'll be touring. Hey, do we have uh... Uh, Brian R. from Long Beach? He writes, this was a good show, me and the Opie and Anthony show today, but everything after 6.05 sucked. 6.05. We started at 6 in the morning. Uh, yeah, I think he's being a little... He's just using uh, Lee Abrams... Uh, we didn't have any oh, yeah. Yeah. Pipe I hope I didn't that was start going anything. On, like one of the songs he was talking about. <laughs> uh, Butcher, do you know yes? Is, yeah, here you go. There you go, Lee. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Live. I mean, it, it's live. It's just like a, a tour de force. It's powerful. It's just right. electric. It sounds a little bit like the Who. Lee, yeah. we, I don't even know the Who's stuff. Lee, we did a bit uh, today just to kill about a half hour. You know how it is. You've been in radio oh, yeah. long enough to understand that. Uh, the yeah. top ten unnecessarily long songs. What would you oh, think is we... on, what, what 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 would you think is on this list? Well, I, I can sure think of some yes selections, probably from the album Tales of, Top- of Topographic Oceans. Uh, Revealing Science of God. Holy, hold oh, on. Wow. What the fuck, Lee? He is that, that's good. The, that's the only yes song on this list. Really? Uh, and I'm like, yeah, there's that's... no way he's going to know the Revealing Science <laughs> of God from yes. Yeah, oh, yeah. That, uh, there's a, you know, that was a pivotal point in their career when it just kind of... You know, went from uh, close to the edge to a little over the edge in a lot of people's minds. What the fuck? I, I, what's that song well, about? The revealing science of God. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Come on. He well, cleared the, that up. The, the history of that is uh, when they, they were having these trem- hugely successful tours, uh, and they were pretty. You know, they were on a they were on a roll and a high, and, literally, and. Um, during like uh, 73, I guess it was, on a huge tour of the U.S. And after the shows, you know, they were kind of low-key types. John Anderson and Steve Howe, the guitarist, would go back to the uh, hotel and just kind of light candles and incense. And and they had the idea, um, and a lot of it was, you know, we are more than musicians, we are composers, you know, kind of gifts to your head. And we're going to compose this, uh, you know, this, this orchestral piece that uh, isn't a single album, isn't a double album, but three albums. <laughs> and they wrote this based on, you know, kind of an obscure sort of Indian sort of scripture <laughs> thing, which I don't understand. Oh, and, God. Uh, oh. Anyway, and, and then they recorded it, and it, it really almost broke up the band because uh, Steve and John were really into it. Rick Wakeman just thought it was just Crap. ridiculous. Yeah. And uh, the, the other two members, uh, the drummer and, and the, uh, requ- uh, the keyboard play, uh, the uh, bass player, they kind of went along with it, but were highly suspicious. And at the end of the day, you know, they realized it should have been just one album, uh, and Revealing Science of God should have been six minutes long instead of 20. And, uh, you know, for a, a real, real hardcore Yes fan who has the patience to sit down and listen to it and, 
and analyze it and all that. You know, it, it's, a, it's a pretty moving experience, but you've got to really be hardcore. For the average person who's expecting another roundabout, they put this on and go, oh, God. And to make matters worse, uh, when they toured... No, you're you sound right like now. a real fan. <laughs> <laughs> well, what when a great fan he album, is. It was the whole, you know, six and a half hours of uh, Tales from Topographic Ocean sort of back-to-back, and people were saying, gosh... We sure miss those shorter 11-minute uh, songs, like, you know, Yours is No Disgrace and Roundabout. And yeah. So it was kind of it was a weird period for him. I mean, again, it was, um, it, some say it was the beginning of the end, as far, uh, because they really went away from their perfect. sort of powerful <laughs> <laughs> image into this kind of uh, no, uh, cerebral zone. And, uh, yeah. Wow. Yes is one and of those it, unfortunately named bands that, Really opens themselves up to bad headlines. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no thanks, are... yes. Uh, <laughs> they they suck. Uh, yes. <laughs> I mean, some critics uh, are just point them out as you know the just the the death, the horrible, just pompous, just garbage. And other people, you know, think this is really magical inspired music. I tend to lean on that side, but I certainly understand how some people. Particularly in that era of yes, just wouldn't get it, or and um, <laughs> there you have it. But I mean, it um, it was an interesting hey. time. <laughs> and that was also a time when there were ar- sort of an arms race going on for concept albums. You know, yeah. uh, oh, uh, Tommy by the Who. You know, well that was great. But uh, we can out Tommy, Tommy, and uh, so they tried to out Tommy. That's what Tommy, it sounded. That clip that you just played sounded like Tommy. That's what I thought. Well, they, uh, you know, Yes and the Who and all those bands sort of come from the same same school. You saying cut from the same cloth, Lee? (laughs) Yeah, kind (laughs) of. Well, we we learned a lot about Yes today, more than we were going for, but uh, thank you, Lee. Uh, Well, I would encourage people to listen to Starship Trooper, particularly with the lights off. Uh, Why? So you can't find the off button? (laughs) <laughs> hey, very good. You Thank you. Be very good. <laughs> um, I was expecting a bigger response on that, but it's very got, good. got mediocrity at best. But yeah. <laughs> no, no, that was uh, the, the, what was great about that was how, how quick it was. That was Thank uh, you. Was, quick and quality, yeah. apparently not the same thing, though. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's a start. You uh, can learn a thing or two about quick, by the way. Lee, I feel like you might be alone in a dark room <laughs> yeah. right now. Is that a hey, Lee, s- presumptuous? What bothers me about yeah. Yes is that there was never a band called... No. <laughs> no. No, however, if you'll remember oh, their, ah, album, their big album, uh, Fragile, with, which had Roundabout, yeah. Bachman Turner Overdrive did come out with a record called Not Fragile. Ah. 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 Oh, wow, they're tough guys. I Enough must have about a, yes! It must have been a hell of a time in music. Yeah, boy, I tell you. I'll lay top ten unnecessarily long songs. What's the number one, you think? That's right up there, or pretty that, much anything on that, that was uh, six. on that album. That was I w- six. I was surprised that Alice's Restaurant wasn't on that no, list. Right? No Alice's mm. Restaurant. Hmm. I'm not other I'm, I, uh, that requires. Uh, if I could call you back tomorrow, I could definitely have nine other ones. Yeah, you'll Google them. Yeah. Well, uh, well, number one is Jethro Tull, "Thick as a Brick." Um. Oh. Oh, I know. Uh, I actually kind of like this one, but it really is unnecessarily long. Uh, but it is kind of, considering who did it and all that, and the, again, the time, it was kind of cool. But it was Interstellar Overdrive by Pink Floyd on Piper of the Gates of Dawn album. It was uh, uh, about the whole side of just kind of noise, but it was really cool noise. Oh, the other one, Metal Machine Music, um, Where's Lou going? Reed. What is happened? amazing. He's off-roading now. I know, you just fucking... <laughs> what happened? Like, you're spiraling. Wait, is, is that on the list? <laughs> no. Which one? I didn't even ask you what's on. Are still on the radio? No. Does anybody it's know? Amazing. No, he's still on the radio. <laughs> that's, that's, <laughs> that is the metal, best question that could be asked right now. By Lou Reed. Late 70s, I guess probably 78 or so, and yeah. Uh, yeah. it was just uh, oh, I know another one. Uh, it was just noise. Uh, Lou Reed stinks. You do know that, right? What's that? Lou Reed stinks. Yeah. I can't stand Lou Reed. What yeah. about the song he's doing with the Killers right now? Is that good? Yeah. Tranquilizer? Oh, my God. Or Tranquilizer? Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm playing that one. now. But the fucking colored girls go doot. Doot, 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 doot. Yes. Awful. Jimmy, I'm good. Thank you for not even trying to sing, Lou. Well, there should be this um, top ten overrated list. I mean, mm. you know, Lou Reed, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, legend. Why? Why, yeah. did, I mean, why did Sabbath take nine times to get in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? And that shit stain gets in with one fucking spoken word thing with music behind it. He's terrible. Oh, that, 
the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, it's such a joke. It's the too cool but for the room, people. did get in because of the Velvet Underground? Yeah. Yeah, yeah oh, that's right. man. Yeah. Oh, they Who were the huge, hell? you know, right. Why should <laughs> they be a break? Oh, wait, another one possibly should be what? definitely what? on the list. Even ask you know what he is? He's fucking right now. What the fuck? He's Ralph Cramden answering the music questions after he got the first one wrong. He's the Yakim one. Why are people spelling uh, Lee's I'll name? I'll be seeing you. Yes. No, wait, wait. This a lot of people spelling Lee's name. called Roundabout. Yeah. <laughs> this could be number one. I don't know if you remember this one. I, think, uh, I, I think already told you what number video. one was if you were listening. Well, I know, but this, this should be number oh, one. Oh, okay. Go ahead, Lee. Yoko Ono, The Fly. Which oh. is, I, as I recall, 20 minutes of... Mm, 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 <laughs> wait, do we have The Fly by Yoko Ono? What a dummy. Oh, we don't have it in uh, Delette there. Like. Thank no, God. Sure. A lot of people are spelling your name with a lot of Z's at the end. I don't know what that's about. Hey, bro. Trend. He doesn't even know it. It's good. What, Lee? You started this, uh, this whole trend of, I know what it's all about, sleeping and flying while under the influence of strange drugs. Just mm. <sighs> No. <laughs> Lee's uh, falling apart because that merge yeah. is going through soon, and he's just yeah. freaking out. It's Everyone's... Obvious. Freaking. Lee, Jethro Tull, thick as a brick. The uh, the original version is 43 minutes and 40 seconds long. Right. Uh, however, they did. Yeah, you know, that's an intro. That should have a little asterisk next to it because they did band it for radio. Yeah. So you could play sections of it. So, yeah, that's on there with an asterisk, I guess. All right. Really don't mind. Mm. <laughs> it got me thinking. Oh, Return of this, the Monster Magnet by this, Frank Zappa. This portion of the show is not being broadcast on XM. It's on XM2. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Berbigley is in studio today there, Lee. Uh, wow, and, and Pat from Monaki making a uh, yeah. military equipment joke. Ah. Yeah. He said, Abrams is tanking. <laughs> Every day. Tanking. You have an yeah. Abrams tank, and people oh. are making their own. List. Oh. Thank you. It's a it's hey, a that's... military equipment joke. Yeah. Oh, really? Pat, yeah, Pat should be good. run over by a tank. Really Pat is should. a tank. Uh, run over his fucking Uncle, Uncle thin. How do you talk about when I try to make a joke? Go right ahead. Didn't mean to interject. <laughs> you know the Abrams tank yeah. is. Uh, Possibly one of the greatest tanks ever. Uh, yeah. Well, Stephen yes. from Bayshore yes. is writing Lee uh, Ambience. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Hey, wait. Hold everything on this. On this uh, most long unnecessary song. There's a lot of these. Again, these are things I like, but you got to put them on the list. But Tangerine Dream, some of that stuff that goes for 20 minutes of uh, just yeah. trance. I like Tangerine Dream actually. I uh, love them. Yeah. Well, the Allman Brothers is on the list with Mountain Jam. You got Pink Floyd, Allen's Psychedelic Breakfast, Rise and Shine slash Sunny from 1970. Who wrote this list? Uh, Starpulse.com, Lee. Hmm. Uh, Interstellar Overdrive should beat those, I think. Oh, really? Well, hmm. the oh, listeners yeah. are now making their own list. It's called the Top Ten Unnecessarily Long Opie and Anthony Breaks. <laughs> <laughs> That's a hint. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Subtle. Yeah. Okay, you can't get Lee got that, right? Yeah, he, he can't get one past this guy, huh, Jimmy? It's everything. <laughs> Takes right up on it. <laughs> it's everything. <laughs> you understand that an hour after we get off the phone, he'll be having this conversation. He'll be holding a receiver that's not even plugged in. <laughs> just fucking talking into it. And, and then there was the time. Yes. <laughs> Ever put anyone okay. to sleep in the tower when you're flying? <laughs> No, but that also, you know, that there's a lot of uh, <laughs> investigation on really guys falling asleep in the tower. That was a uh, plane that crashed in Lexington. Apparently that guy yeah. was sleeping yeah. most of the time. Mm -hmm. You hadn't been flying through Lexington. <laughs> No, I had, oh, okay. uh, I've been there many times, though. I love this. What I love about Lee, no matter what you mention, it's, it's fodder for a speech. That's the beauty of Lee. Like you'll say anything, he's like, "Well, no, it's funny." Like he had been yeah, waiting yeah. to talk about this for he, a while. He has probably said, "Funny, you should say that." 10,000 times yeah. in his life. Absolutely. Le <laughs> and then it leads yeah. to... Funny you should say that. That's uh, <laughs> funny you should Lee, say. Funny talk, you should say. Talking to Lee is like surfing the internet. You just, you just click and it just goes. There's <laughs> yeah. more information. Yeah, you, you don't yeah. quite you know where you're going ads. or where you'll end yeah, up. Yeah. Right now we're on horse gag. <laughs> <laughs> it usually ends up with something that has to do with flying and sleeping uh, based on the time. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Lee, yeah. anything else you want to say? No, just keep up the great work, and uh, we should chat more often. This is fun. Yes, we should. <laughs> well, actually, uh, Opie wants to go on a plane ride, right? Mm, uh -huh. No. 
Yeah. I maybe. thought you wanted to go to Dare County or something. How about that? Yeah, well, Lee does weekend trips, and I hear they're a blast, but I'm too scared to fly with you. Oh. Huh. Did you see the video that our guy did of our pizza trip? <laughs> yeah, I did. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's fun. <laughs> Lee just wants friends, I think, Jimmy. Of course he does. Are you going to be uh, Lee Abrams' friend? Not even on MySpace. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's depressing. Oh, I love All right, Lee. Lee, you know Tranquilize or is it Tranquilizer? Tra uh, Tranquilizer by The Killers and uh, Lou Reed. Oh, right, yes. For all the people that hate Lou Reed, I, I got a song for him. Okay. We're going to play going in a break. I got to pee anyway. Hey, Lee, thank you. It's always a pleasure. We'll talk soon. Take care, Lee. All right, Lee Abrams. Bye. The, the great Lee Abrams. Yes. He knows right, anything Lee. about uh, music and radio. Music, flying, radio. And music, flying, and radio, and where to get the good pot. Yeah. Just nothing about comedy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or timing. Or timing, exactly. Just trotting upon your lines. Oh, that's all right. He didn't mean it. He, he doesn't of course know. He, doesn't. Well, he doesn't know he's like a retard. What does he know? His fucking Wilford Brimley mustache. <laughs> <laughs> fucking pot seeds. I got the diabetes. Well, now they're coming up with the top ten unnecessary births of all time. <laughs> oh, no. Well, is uh, Lee placing in that? Uh... Boy, is he. Rob, bitch. 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 Rob,